Good morning, Karen Scholl with the Alaska Incident Management Team. I'm one of the operations section chiefs working here on the August North Complex. Today, for the weather, we're anticipating a little bit uh, warmer than yesterday, a little bit lower RH, relative humidity, and a little bit of uh, clearing skies uh, to the north of the fire because we are having a little bit of a north northeast uh, wind. So that's going to clear out the, the top of the fire here. Update for today uh, from yesterday and today's activities. Um, everything on our western flank is looking real good. Uh, we're getting a little bit more black line. Black line means it's contained. It doesn't mean it's controlled, but it's contained and we expect it to sit where it is. Uh, we're working with the CAL FIRE team to the west and our western edge to patrol and mop up and get a little bit of depth in here so we can turn that black hopefully in the next few days. Up in the Ruth Valley, crews continue to monitor uh, the fire and clean up the edge. And by cleaning up the edge, I mean they're putting a little bit more fire on the ground in order to walk this fire down uh, about mid-slope. And then crews are looking to pick this up direct and not bring it all the way down if possible. So uh, trying to button this up and protect the residents and all the values at risk in Ruth Valley. Off of uh, South Fork Mountain and Horse Ridge, we're bringing the fire down to the northeast, down into the uh, South Trinity. Um, we're walking it down nice and slow. We've got dozer line in there. Uh, it's a pretty wide dozer line. However, there are a lot of uh, it's really dense, old growth sort of um, tree stand in here. So what we need to do is spend some extra time to prep that, meaning we're cutting down snags and anything that could potentially harm firefighters as they're trying to pull off this operation. So we're pushing the dozer line down into double cabin flats, and then we'll push it to the road. Up in our division, northernmost divisions, we're getting dozer line, tying together some pre-existing roads. We're opening those up with dozers, pushing it across, and we're going to try and get all the way across and tie it in to this far, uh, our far northeastern contingency line here. Um, what this will do is we're trying to keep the fire from backing all the way down into 36 corridor. Uh, that would be a really good stroke there if we can uh, make this happen with the weather window that we're having right now. So this is a big operation. It looks small on the map, but this is a very large operation. This is over about five miles of line here. And then we've got uh, probably 6,000 acres fire just right here of what we're trying to accomplish. So this is going to take a couple of days uh, to pull off. Um, but we're, we're hopeful at this point that this will be successful. While we're focusing our efforts here, we have an additional group up in the Post Mountain area. Uh, defending and uh, coming up with a plan to defend Post Mountain should we not be successful here. They're putting dozer line around the uh, community and uh, developing the relationships in there and necessary to be able to go in and operate and uh, provide structural protection in Post Mountain, uh, Trinity Pines area. This line uh, on the northeast part of our fire is in. It's being improved, meaning we're widening it. We are prepping, cutting down trees in preparation for a firing operation. So if this becomes uh, not viable or we have a wind event that pushes the fire out and towards the northeast, we'll have something to uh, fire off of that it will be a very good holding point and bring the fire back in. So we've got multiple things happening up in this area. One, pinch it off, uh, try and close it up, reduce the amount of fire on the ground, as well as protect the values at risk. Down in uh, our eastern part of the fire, they continue to patrol, mop up, and get depth on their mop up. What I mean by that is they uh, start on the line and they mop up five feet uh, along this line, which is probably about five to eight miles. And then they go in a little bit deeper, and then they go in a little bit deeper. So it takes a really long time to try and uh, get some black line in where we feel it's secure, and we just go down to a patrol status. Uh, so the mop-up takes a lot of time, and we have very few resources still. They're starting to trickle in from other fires, but our resources are, are pretty thin, so it's just taking a long time to get a good secured black line in there. Uh, let's see, I think that's about it for today's operations. 
Um, hopefully we'll get some good clean air and we'll be able to get up and fly and see it. Um, our team has not really been able to see the whole fire due to the smoke and the inversions and the marine layer that comes into the west. So hopefully today with a north, little bit of a north wind, we'll be able to get up here and see what we, we have. Uh, but our folks are on the ground um, in good places, taking a look and doing a lot of good hard work out there. We did get a couple of extra crews in. Uh, they're on short loan, so we've got them for a couple of days, and their focus is uh, protecting the values in Ruth Valley and then uh, helping with this operation uh, on the north part of the fire. That's your operational update for today. We'll see you tomorrow.